In today's episode, we are going to learn how to create this All I See Is You movie poster in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In today's episode, we are going to create this All I See You movie poster in Adobe Photoshop. And for this, what you need, you need to have one portrait image, sorry, of a girl, something like this and some paint splatter brushes. You can check out the link in the description section below. So let's get started. So first of all, you can see right now that this portrait image is a little bit uh, monochromatic so we are going to first give it a monochromatic look and then we are going to add this effect so first of all we'll go over here and we'll see press crop option and we'll crop this to something like this all right and press enter so that we have some the dimensions of our movie poster all right and then what we'll do we'll press ctrl j or command j to have a duplicate copy of this and that way we will be doing the non-destructive editing all right and now we'll press ctrl u or command u and that would open up the hue and saturation option and thereafter what we'll do we'll bring down the saturation to something like this okay and now you can add the hue from here itself so if you hold this hue you can drag it here and there but that would only show up if you increase the saturation so that trick is not going to work over here so we'll just desaturate this image so that it becomes black and white and then we'll press ok alright and now what we'll do we'll press ctrl B to open up the color balance adjustment layer alright and now we are going to give it as a blue or sorry pink hue something like this all right so let me see let me add more red or more yellow something like this and press ok and let's check this out the poster all right it has some purple hue so we'll again press ctrl b to open up the levels um, command and we'll add the magenta in the mid tone all right something like this and in the shadows as well and let's add something like this so you can play with these sliders to get the look you want all right so we don't need to have the exact look but we can do that as well by playing with the settings all right so let's see i think this is just fine let's see all right it has little bit more blue in this so let me just do this once again b and let add a little bit blue to this image in the highlights as well and in the shadows okay so we can modify this color later on so at the moment this is just fine and we'll press ok and now what we need to do we need to create a gradient of light from here so as you can see over here we have the lighter area and over here we have the shadow so we can easily do that with the gradient as well or with the gradient okay so what we can do we'll click over here and select the gradient and we'll click on this gradient editor and this is going to open up the gradient editor option so we need to select this black and white all right and we'll press ok and now we'll change its angle to something like this 45 angle and we can increase its scale 
to adjust its position and we'll press OK. And then we are going to change its layer blend mode to let's say overlay or let's say multiply. All right, multiply works fine in this case. Okay. And if you want, you can change this dark color to let's say this one. So if you click over here and let's add some darker blue tone or purple blue tone and press ok and press ok and we can adjust its scale all right and we can even adjust this position so if we'll click over here and we can click and drag this way up something like this so that it covers more of that area but we need to have oops we need to have little bit more light on the face so we'll drag it back to something like this and we'll press ok and we'll press ok and at the moment as you can see this one or this area is not removed from this image all right and if you'll see this poster over here we have this plain background so what we'll do we'll click over here and we'll go under it and create another layer and we are going to fill it with the black okay and then we'll come back to the girl layer and we'll create a layer mask and using the gradient we'll press g on our keyboard to use use the gradient tool or select the gradient tool and we'll select select this black to transparent gradient and we'll press ok and now what we'll do we'll click over here and drag it to something like this and what it is going to do it is going to remove it from this part okay something like this so now as you can see we have this black background that's why we have this darker result so in order to get the result similar to this one so what we'll do we'll press ctrl backspace to fill it with the white color which is over here this is currently the background color of our color palette all right and you can see now we have got something which is similar to this all right and then what we are going to do we'll come on the top and we'll create a blank layer and we'll choose the splatter brush which we have just downloaded you can download it from the description section there is a link to that and over here what we need to do we need to uncheck this shape dynamic plus what we need to do we'll come over here on the brush tip and then we'll make it something like this that so that it flips vertically all right something like this and then we'll zoom in and will choose the appropriate size and with the black color we are going to paint here once okay and then what we can do will choose another brushes of the same splatter so something like this and then we can paint our hair so again we need to uncheck the shape dynamics which is over here which makes some size smaller and some larger and then we can paint it something like this and let's check this one over here we have this kind of effect okay so let's paint little bit over here and over here and then select the same brush which we have earlier selected which is this one okay and let's flip it vertically once again and we are going to make it smaller something like this and let's see yes you can play with the these brushes and you can come up with your own style or setting so you can paint it anyway and as you can see the moment at the moment its eyes is not looking clear clear as you can see over here we can see through the eyes so we need to remove it from the eyes so what we are going to do we'll click on this layer mask and again we'll choose the brush tool and this time we'll choose the soft brush okay soft round brush which is a default one over here so i'm going to select this one and with the black color 
I'm going to remove it from the eyes. So you need to press 0 to have it on the full opacity. Okay, and over here as well, we can select this one. And oops, this one is too dark. So let me just undo it. All right, and select this one and paint a little bit over here. Something like this, okay? If you want, you can make it darker or not, but I have made it a little bit brighter. So let me just press X and change it from here. And let me paint it over only on the highlights. All right, something like this. And you can see now we have got something similar to this. But at the moment, you can see these, some of these brushes are blue and some of are the dark magenta. All right. So let me add some blue color to this. So I'll select this layer and I'm going to create another layer and press Alt and click between these two layers so that it gets clipped to the brushes layer and then using the soft as brush I'm going to select a color which is something like this let me go back to this layer and press alt or option and click on this layer so that way we'll have the somewhat similar color all right and I'm going to add a little bit saturation to this color and go back over here and change this layer blend mode to color and then I will randomize this color and paint here and there. Oops, okay. Let me see why it's not working. Let me, okay. So we have got this one and let me do this change it back to the normal okay normal is also working fine and we don't have the similar color so let's try this one this one is little something like this darker and less saturated so let's paint in a little bit okay and on here let me create another layer no I don't want to delete it I want to create another layer and press alt and option or select between these two layers and this time I'm going to make it of this color so I'll press I and going to select this color magenta all right and using the brush tool I'm going to paint in okay so we get the similar color and let me remove it oops remove it from this area okay and press ctrl 0 and you can see now we have got something similar all right and now we need to add a little bit more gradient so that we get the similar effect so we'll create another blank layer and choose the gradient this time and in the gradient automatically this color which we have selected from the another image that would be selected and we'll press ok and now we'll click and drag it up so that it covers up this area but we need to make it a little bit more darker as you can see over here this area is much darker than this one so let's Changes layer blend mode to multiply. Yes, now it's looking good. Oh, let's try overlay. All right, overlay is also looking good. Let's try hard light or soft light. I think uh, overlay is just fine. And I think we need to crop in a little bit further. So we'll press C and let me place it something like this and crop it this way and press enter 
let's see here yeah, somewhat similar to this and uh, let's make this area darker as well so again we'll press gradient for g we'll press g but let's change this color to more darker okay and let's press let's say 20 percent opacity so we'll press 2 on our keyboard to make the 20 percent opacity okay and now what we can do we need to add a little bit more grain to the image all right so we'll select this layer okay the this one and or what we can do we can create another layer on the top of it and then press shift backspace and fill it with the let's say 50 percent gray and we'll press ok changes layer blend more to overlay and then go to the filter noise and choose the add noise and that's going to add the noise or the grain to this and choose the appropriate amount so in this case let me choose this one i think this much is just fine and i'll press ok and then we'll go to the filter blur and choose gaussian blur and let's say radius to be something like this okay and we'll press okay and now we have got the now we have got this grain or grainy effect so let me go back to this image and you can see this is more close up to the face so if you want you can crop it even further so let me just try to do this so i want to make it somewhat similar okay so let me press enter and you can see now this one is much much closer to this one and now what we can do we need to add all these titles so let me just do this so i will press t on my keyboard to have the access to type tool and i click over here and let's make the size smaller all i see is you all right press enter and come to the paragraphs which is over here and i'm going to change its color to white i think this color is white yes it's white and then i'm going to change its font and font let's say try this one okay and let me uncheck this one and try the script font so all right let's go for this one and press ctrl j or command j to have a duplicate copy of it and press v to select the move tool and press drag it over here and double click it and type is you okay and press enter and let's see okay in you they have capital letters so let me just type in the u okay all i see is you so our text is almost ready title text and then we need to write something over here so let me just press t click over here and write something uh, next all right and uh, let me change its font to the normal one so all right it's arial narrow all right so i've selected this one make it smaller and uh, make it narrow make it smaller even further and i think it has got somewhat similar text next i don't know what it is written because this is a very small uh, small image so i just can't see it exactly but let it be something like this and then we can type in these subtitles so an obsession of love i think something like this so i'll press 
J or oh sorry V and click and drag it over here and double click it by pressing alt so that makes a duplicate now will I write the obsession of love and press enter and click on this to make all caps and then increase its height and then its spacing I think yes of love all right and then we can create duplicate copy of it and then we are going to make these small titles so we are going to make them very close to each other something like this and increase its height all right and we are going to change its color to less opaque something like this let's see all right and let me place them over here one over here and create one more in the middle and double click it remove half of its text press enter place it inside make it smaller not that small something like this place it somewhere over here select this text place it over here and then select all these three group them together Control G and by pressing alt or option click and drag it down drag it down let's see okay something like this and we need to select all these groups Control T and we need to make them smaller because they are too large at the moment so something like this and reposition them wherever you like let's see okay they have something similar to this create a one more duplicate of this copy control T make them smaller press enter okay and yes make laudation clock and we can write down the titles I think Blake lively and Jason Clark is written over here so let me press T and click over here I think what was that Blake L A K E Blake let me see what it is Blake lively okay Blake is there and then type lively all right and Jason Clark so I'll click once again Jason and press enter click once again Clark C L A R C K I think spelling is right C L A R K E okay C L A R K E okay Jason Clark and we'll select the Jason and go to the character panel which is over here and we are going to select this one as bold and make it smaller let's say 8 point so I'll control C copy it and we'll go back to the Blake and we'll make it something similar and we'll select the bold okay and press V to have the access to move tool and then we can reposition them like this Blake Lively oops Blake Lively and then Jason Clarkson 
and select all of these and select the black let's see where it is okay and they have gap as well so you can basically reposition them anywhere you want and let's go back to these groups and make a selection of all of these let's say this one group and these all i see control g and then changes their layer blend mode to overlay all right so we get this kind of a effect and uh, we can even change it to let's say multiply or darken try try different blend modes highlight not i think overlay is just fine but we need to change the layer blend mode of these groups to let's say normal or let's change their color to let's say white so that they get visible all right and then these one as well so i think obsession of love and one is still left which one is that i don't see that all right so this one so make this colors <clears throat> okay so let me just reposition them once again these are the groups so select all of these and then change their color to something like this press ok and let's see ok so let's select this group control T and oops it may escape press the escape select these groups control T and let's make them smaller very small okay something like this and uh, the this one as well obsession of love okay obsession of love all right control t and then resize them to something like this press enter and yes now you can see we have got something similar to this all right and we can go to these text over here and let's make them 100% and let's increase their size 18 points all right and once again we need to adjust their position so jason and then blake okay and let's see what we got if we want we can add the some text over here as well but i think you have got the idea how we can easily make the posters with the help of the photoshop and with these images okay so you can see we have got something similar and if you want you can even add one more layer and you can use the doze and burn so we'll press shift and backspace and choose the 50 percent gray press ok change layer blend mode to let's say overlay and select this 
those and burn tools so we'll going to select the burn tool and we are going to paint in over here so we are going to make this darker more darker okay and we can add a little bit darkness on this side as well on the face and over here so we can even enhance it further with the help of dosing and burning so let me just show you and then you can choose the dose tool and we can dose certain part exposure let's the exposure to be eight percent and then we can oops uh, it should be eight percent so let me press eight or i can bring it down manually nine percent and then we can paint in more light on this side okay and i think i need to erase this one all right and we can dose a little bit on other part of the images and let me see okay if you want to match the similar color you can even work with this image even further so let me just press uh, control V or I can go over here and select uh, the color balance adjustment layer and let's try to give it the similar color I think let me just bring it over here so that i can see it and match the color so let's make it smaller and press ctrl 0 to fit it in the background or zoom it out and place it over here and then select this one and then let's add the magenta something like this okay and let's create one more hue and saturation layer so which is over here and let's lower down the saturation and we can make it little darker something like that okay and here we don't have this blue color so if you want you can add that as well so what we can do we'll create another hue and saturation adjustment layer and we'll create the saturation of this color something like this and then we'll go to the properties and press ctrl i or command i to invert it and using the brush tool we can paint over here with the white color and that's going to reveal this blue color on this side okay and if you have this splatter brush so select the splatter brushes once again and uh, let me select another one and then we can paint over here okay so let me change its setting so let me uncheck the transfer and then we can paint in a little bit something like this okay and create another layer and let's select this color and make it little bit darker on the blue side and let's paint little bit over here 
and make this area little darker okay and now we have got the somewhat similar result all right so this is our final result and we have started from this image and we have turned it into something like this so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below and if you are interested in deep learning then you can check out my premium tutorials you can have the access to all of my premium tutorials with a minimum monthly or the yearly fees with the premium membership of my website harshwardhanart.com. Check out the discounted link in the description section below and please consider becoming a premium member. So thank you so much. Bye bye. See you in the next episode. Till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you. Bye bye.